today we're going to change the oil on a 2016 KTM EX CF350. Now, I don't have the oil filter here. You're going to need one of those. Uh, you're also going to need a little, little extension, an 8mm, 13mm, a torque wrench, some needle nose, a regular socket wrench, and some sort of a long pin wrench. Or this is an Allen wrench, but basically, yeah, that's what you're going to need. I'll show you what that's for in a little bit. You're going to need a torque wrench, fine one. This one's pretty good. It's from Precision Instruments. And uh, yeah, very, very nice. Goes up to, uh, let's see what we got here. But it's all measured in inch pounds. So it goes, maxes out at 200 inch pounds. Pound inches, I mean pound inches. First thing you wanna do is wash the bike. And so I wash it and then you want to, uh, because you don't want a bunch of dirt and shit around where you, uh, where the oil drain bolts are. Then you want to do is go, f go ride it around for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, get it up to speed. Don't just let it idle. You want to warm up the motor. You want to warm up everything in the motor. Don't just let it idle. Ride it around. That way the transmission gets warmed up and everything else gets warmed up too. You're going to need to use the full synthetic 10W60. This stuff here from MotorX is what the manual recommends. It's what I use. Get yourself a big piece of cardboard like this and put it underneath the bike. Over here like this. Put it on there. About like that. Next thing you gotta do is take off the back plate. Next thing you want to do is make a record of the hours and the mileage. Fold up a bunch of towels because you're going to need them. Next thing, get yourself an oil drain pan and then clean around this uh, oil drain plug. See, can you see? Where's my finger in the right there? This oil drain plug. Clean all around that. Then, right behind the uh, shifter, this bolt down here is, uh, is you got you're gonna have to do that one's also a 13 millimeter drain, uh, pull out this bottom one first and then pull out this one here next. Kind of hold it in there. As you turn it and then I'm gonna put the camera down probably won't be able to see very good but, maybe. but basically I bring this fucking tray up I can't see and then you want to make sure when you take this drain plug out there's a there's a washer that'll come with it and if you're not careful it'll fall right in your oil so, make sure we get that coming. There we go. So a little copper washer. There we go. I got it now. Just grab the washer and the plug. Drain all your oil in there. But I just drained it not too long ago. Look at that oil's all still, honey. Uh, I know it's a shame, but I rode it pretty hard in the Ridge Runners, and uh, so. I don't know about you guys, but I change my oil more often than some people because because man, that's what makes your bike last. And it doesn't <clears throat> yeah, this synthetic oil is expensive, but fucking way less expensive than uh, you know having to rebuild your motor. Now this this also is a has a magnetic end on it, so you want to take a look and make sure there's not a bunch of shavings or anything on there. So it looks pretty clean. Um, so then you take one of your rags and clean that baby off really good. Right. 
that aside. I like to keep my fucking gloves pretty clean. Even though you're wearing gloves, it's good to get the oil off them so you don't spread it around everywhere. Because, you know what? Bikes ain't like working on cars. It should be fun, it should be easy, light, you know? You don't have to get all fucking dirty. You don't have to kill your back. Lifting heavy shit, you know? This, I like working on bikes. I used to work on cars, I like working on bikes now. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> that's good. Let's see if I can pause this bitch now. At this point, it's good to have a compressor. So I usually get that going. Here. We're going to use the air compressor too. We're going to take out the oil screen and then we're going to use the air, uh, the air compressor to just blow it out. And if there's any particulates left inside of it, I'll show you in a second. So the next step is I'm going to take my 13 millimeter and take out this bolt. And the oil does drain on the frame, but it doesn't matter. You just let it. The, a lot of times the screen comes out. This time it didn't come out. So I get a needle dose players to take it out. Clean that off real good. All right, so now I got the air compressor off. Take this screen and uh, yeah, I don't have a very bright light here, but it looks like this. And it's got little fine holes inside of it. And uh, so you kind of, I usually, before I even wipe it off, I'll bring it over to a bright light. You just kind of take a look at it. And just sort of, I mean, just check for any like chunks. You know, this is your oil screen, so. Along with that drain plug magnet, this would be one of the first places you might see some problems. And you know, you can filter out your oil too. Some people will filter their oil through a rag or something, and then they'll check the rag for metal shavings and stuff, but fucking blow it out like this. This is the only reason why I use the air compressor. Oh. That's it for that. Put that aside. On something clean. Pretty clean anyway. I'll put it right there. Oh, right there. Okay. Let me try to see if turn this off. All right, now once the engine oil is completely drained, now we gotta put the, that screen back in. And how you do it is grab a wrench like, uh, they, they say in the manual to use a pin wrench, and I don't really know what that is, but <laughs> um, what works for me is I got this uh, Motion Pro, like small Allen thing. So make sure that, I make sure that that's really clean. And then, Make sure that's really clean. Alright. All right. Take the pin wrench and I put the oil filter or the screen over it like that. Then what you gotta do <coughs> is you gotta there's a little if you shine a light back in there, fuck maybe I should show you. Alright. Here. Now, if you look back in there, and there's a hole. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's a hole. See? I think you can see it. Back in there, there's like a little, a little uh, outlet in the back there. Take your pin wrench. Put it in that little hole back in there. Okay, so. Basically, you get this wrench 
in that hole on the other side, then you could just sort of, I don't know if I can do this, hold the camera at the same time. You can just slide this in like that along the wrench and there you go. It seats in on the other side and it's in. It should just be like that. <clears throat> Next thing I do is um, <clears throat> before I put the plug back on, I'll just make sure that the nading surface is really good. Okay, clean off any dirt might be there before I put it back in. Make sure there's a little bit of oil on this little o-ring here. Don't dry that out. Mm. Uh, yep, start it off by hand, always a good idea. And uh, you know, you can use pneumatic tools on bikes, but I don't think you should. No. You should usually just use hand tools because you always want to be feeling, you don't want to strip out something. All this stuff is all aluminum and you strip it out so fast. All right, according to the manual, the screw plug on the side is, I say 133 pound inches. And the bottom one, the main plug, 178 pound inches. Now, if you don't have a torque wrench, I'm telling you, this one right here is fucking, you hardly tighten it at all. Like, I don't know, I'm gonna put the torque wrench on here just so you can see how like little pressure I gotta do to get to 133 uh, inch pounds. It's just like, I don't know if you can see that, it's hardly anything. Just like, just barely even pushing, you know, so. Don't over tighten. All right, next step take off these bolts right here and that's for the oil filter I usually take out the uh, bottom one all the way now most of the time you can take these things off and they don't um, uh, you can take the screws all the way out and they don't uh, the oil filter cover won't come off come on now that one there. And I take the bottom one off first because whenever you are taking off uh, whenever you're taking off a cover you take off the top one last because if the cover comes off it's going to come off when you take off a second screw and it would come out of the bottom. And if you're taking out the bottom screw, you're gonna get oil out of your hands. Amazing. And then uh, yeah, usually kind of stuck on there, like I said, and you just pull it up. There's a little O-ring. It drains on the frame, but I usually just let it drain on the frame and then clean it off afterwards. It doesn't touch the motor or anything, so it's fine. Looks like that, a little O-ring on there. And you can take the needle nose and you can grab the filter out like this. Ta-da! Yep. And that's how you do that. All right, next step is you gotta tip it over on its side. Weirdest fucking thing, but that's what you gotta do and you're probably gonna to want to keep the. You're gonna you're gonna to want to. Uh, it might spill some gas, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you. So. Okay, put this over here about. Let's see. And just lay it on. Just like that. Make sure this main surface right here is nice and clean. The next thing you want to do is you have to fill up this hole 
and fill it up just see that little like uh, tube down there you fill it up just till it goes past that it's about a third of the way up Let's see if I can do this and film probably not there we go and I didn't even spill it was a miracle yes yeah, so it just barely fills over that little thing there Ah, fuck. Yeah, you see what I mean about the fucking gas line overflow leaking? I guess I could have put that up somehow. Ah, shit. Anyway, whatever. Um, you gotta clean some fucking gas. Oops. Alright, next step is... Inspect the filter. Put that in. Rubber side down. And yeah, it'll fit in there pretty nicely. It just it should just snugly bloop down in there. 89 pound inches for the oil filter cover screws. Now it's time to stand this bad boy back up. Probably just dump more gas, didn't I? Oh, maybe not. Clean everything around the oil filler. You don't want to get any dirt in there. I have the hiccups. It totally matters. It's very important to have the hiccups when you're doing oil changes. And it pretty much takes exactly one liter, not a quart, one liter of oil including the tiny bit that we poured in where the oil filter goes. All right, well, I filled it up with a liter of oil. I didn't go ahead, I didn't show you that, but I did. And uh, now, the next thing to do is start it up and check everything for leaks. Check out oil filter cover and both the drain plugs, make sure they're not leaking. And that's pretty much it. Not even gonna show that. <clears throat> Put back, your scoop plate back on. Or else you'll be going over some rocks later. And, uh, yeah. You won't, you won't be, uh, thinking it's, you wouldn't be having a good, what the hell going on? There we go. Simple as that. Or whatever. <laughs>